Well, he found a way to help people losing their homes in foreclosure. But now one person is suing him because he couldn't get her financing. Is that fair? Here's the Nightingale's Patrick Fraser with the exclusive. There's an old saying, it pays to be nice, most of the time. I regret this deal, correct, by not helping people. Meet Louis Valdeon, who's become a sort of a real estate Robin Hood in South Florida, buying foreclosure properties and selling them back to their owners. Now you're legal on the owner of the property back. When Carlos couldn't afford his $250,000 mortgage, Louis bought his house in foreclosure for $80,000 and sold it back to him for $123,000. If it wasn't for that gentleman right there, I would be out on the street. My parents were frantic. When the Gonzaleses couldn't afford the $600,000 mortgage on their home in Avocado Grove, Lewis bought it from the bank and sold it back to them. I think he's an angel sent from, from up above. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. Nobody would do that. And in 2009, Lewis also bought this house that Smyrn Mathis's brother was losing in foreclosure. He agreed to sell it back to Smyrn for $115,000. Sounds very happy. Smyrn was happy to see us that day. Lewis was happy to see us. Now, let's move forward a year. And I'll use another old line. That was then. This is now. I don't have to snatch it. It's right. mine for a but year and one month. Today, Smyrn has an attorney talking for her. She sees our camera. She tries to move out of the way. And on the way into court, she tells us not to put her on TV. Needless to say, Smyrn and Lewis are not best friends. She has not paid me one dollar in a year and one month. Not one cent. Instead of buying the house from Lewis, Smyrn has been living in it for free, battling Lewis to avoid being evicted. It's no longer a um, foreclosure action. This month, when Lewis showed up to ask a judge to evict her, Smyrn's attorney handed the judge a lawsuit he has filed against Lewis. Let me read it, okay? The lawsuit says Smyrn is suing Lewis for fraud because he could not get her the bank financing to buy the house. Lewis says the lawsuit is ridiculous, that Smyrn could not get financing because of her financial problems. She owed 20000 to the IRS, you, you, it, and she bounced a check. Smyrn's attorney says he was not aware of any of that, that Lewis promised to get her financed, and he should deliver. When it comes down to actually giving them some financing or giving them a house to stay in. They didn't do that. They promised her something and, and reneged on it. In court, the judge again refused to evict Smyrn. She can stay in the house for at least another three months till the next court hearing. For purposes of this matter, I'm going to stay further the writ for 90 days. The new lawsuit filed could take a couple of years, forcing Lewis to pay the taxes and insurance, allowing Smyrn to live there for free. Even her attorney admits it's strange. I think it's, it's terrible that someone will be living in a house for free. You should be able to pay something, right? But you should also get what you promised, don't you think? Louis Valdeon says he's helped 100 people stay in their homes after being foreclosed on. 99 left him smiling. Then there's this one. If I can help you, I will. But this one, it's just one of those cases that the dog bit me. So take it like a man and keep going forward. Louis thought he was being nice, helping Smyrn stay in her home. This time he says it didn't pay to be nice. I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News. Hi, I'm Louis Valdion from the Miami Day Foreclosure List. Some of you have seen me on Channel 7 News. There's 4,000 families losing their homes to foreclosure every month. What we do is completely different. We take the house away from the bank. Before the bank gets it, we get it back and put the family back in possession. If you want your free docket information and we can help you, please come to our office. We'll be more than happy to see you.